Well, despite being in this pandemic, the Crime Stoppers program is continuing to work to get criminals off the street. This week is actually recognized as National Crime Victims Rights Week. And here to tell us more about this is Darlene Cusanza with Crime Stoppers. Darlene, thank you so much for joining us, because of course, as all this is going on, we're still hearing of crime in our community. We, so, we sure are, and, and that's disappointing. And that's one of the reasons why we think that it's so important for people to recognize this week, it's National Crime Victims' Rights Week, as you said, and it's really looking at all the opportunities and the resources that are available to people when they fall victim of crime, which I can tell you is a, a very traumatic time for many families when this occurs. Um, so, so that's what Crime Stoppers, we historically reach out and provide crime victims' families with resources, not just the reward, but we certainly help to promote their, core, um, their, their particular case. And we work with law enforcement to make sure that that case is being followed. And, and the families are just aware of where the process is. But there's so many other players in this um, cycle of working with victims. So that, that's why this week is important, because it's a collaboration of all these different agencies. I mean, actually, today we're celebrating Child Abuse Awareness Month. April is the month. Today we're taking that um, as our topic for the day. That's why you see the balloons behind me. And yes, um, we are asking you to put balloons out, draw balloons with your children, put it on the sidewalk. Pinwheels are actually the, the actual you know symbol that we also ask to use, but pinwheels may be a little bit harder to make. But put something else so that we could talk to our kids about the importance of safety. And, and as an individual, we're, we're asking you to reach out to families who have young children. Right now is a very isolating time for families. And there's many ways that you can possibly be that good neighbor or help them so that we're not as stressed. So that's part of what today's celebration is about. Yeah, and that has been one of the downfalls of us, of course, being at home. There have been states reporting higher cases of both child abuse and domestic assault. Definitely. Tomorrow, actually, is Wear Denim, Blue Denim Day for sexual assault um, awareness. But definitely, we're seeing certain cause, um, calls for, you know, maybe self-harm, certainly, you know, threats of suicide, and then certainly and then the abuse. So it's important as um, we look at the week to just kind of have that, that one message that we're standing behind you. And we are going to ask people to go to our Facebook, go to our website, um, go to Instagram, Crime Stoppers GNO, and follow us. I mean, each day is going to be a certain um, topic that you can get more um, educated with. And then we're going to share our partnering agencies. So if you happen to live in New Orleans, find out what, you know, Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office does for crime victims or the DA's office. Same thing in Jefferson Parish, Plaquemines. I mean, there's multiple agencies out there, advocacy agencies that is there for you if you need certain types of resources. So it's an education process. And to me, that you know, education is the key. All right, it is certainly. You got to get people aware of what the signs of a lot of these things are. And if someone sees something in the community, they can still call Crime Stoppers with a tip, right? Definitely call us, go online, go to crimestoppersgno.org, which might actually be the quickest way to post a tip. Download the app, the Crime Stoppers GNO Say It Here app, or you can always call the number 822 1111. We are sending everything to law enforcement. They are investigating and we're getting responses back. So, you know, be that eyes and ears. All right, we got it. Thank you so much, Darlene, for joining us. Thank you.